Hey, what's up guys? It's Luke, Black Sheep 217 on Pokemon the Trading Card Game online and at Zoom Battle Gym on Facebook. You can also find me on Twitter at Pokemon Everything. I'd love to connect with you on those social media sites. So let's be friends over there. Um, today, I've actually been holding on to this. I have a few of these. Um, I've collected them over the past few months. These used to be very readily available. I don't see these anywhere anymore. They're obviously sold out. This is the small but mighty premium collection. And you get some really cool cards in here. Um, lots of packs. Um, some of the packs, you know, I looked through the little thing here. Some of the packs, they're kind of on the iffy side, like why did they put those packs in there? But overall, it's a really cool looking set. You get a really cool card here, which we'll take a look at in depth. Um, but yeah, it says this, let's see. What does it say on the back? Let's read it. Super cute and awesomely powerful Pokemon. Round, pastel, and ready to take on anyone. That's right. These three adorably tiny Pokemon have joined forces as a tag team Pokemon GX and are ignoring nap time. Even better, this premium collection includes all three together on a pin, a coin, and a sidekick dangler for maximum cuteness on every level. When you're friends with Pokemon this cute and awesome, other good things naturally come your way. You'll find charm, laughter, and more surprises in Pokemon TCG booster packs. Don't just battle with brutes, brawlers, and the loudest of the loud smashers. Show a bit of fairy type fun and join this trio of charming, small, and mighty strong Pokemon. So, comes with one never before seen foil card featuring Togepi, Cleffa, and Igglybuff GX with special art. One bright eman uh, enamel pin featuring the same thing, metallic coin. Sidekick Dangler, 10 packs, and of course, the code card for the game. So, kind of neat. I got this at Target initially a few months ago. So I think it was like $49.99, so not cheap. Um, and then I saw them later, and so I would pick one up. So I have about two more of these after this. I think I'm just going to keep those sealed. I'm opening this one because um, it's a bit imperfect here. The the front, I don't know, something kind of like smashed it and it just was kind of imperfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Let's check it out. Okay, so here it is, this giant collection here. Um, let's just see what we can do to open this. I'm gonna put it sideways. This plastic's pretty easy to take off. There we go, it's easily coming off. And I've been wanting to open this. I've just sort of saved it for a rainy day and it's it's been kind of stormy here where I'm at. And so here is the premium collection. Let's just go ahead and open up the box. It's really beautifully packaged. So let's go ahead and do this. And let's take a look at this trio first. There we go. I just totally dropped that thing. Oh well. Okay, here we go. So this is a really cool looking card. Let's just kind of go like that. There we go. And it's the tag team. We got Rolling Panic. It can do 120 damage. Flip a coin until you get tails. Uh, this attack does 30 more damage for each heads. Wow. So I guess you could just keep flipping um, heads, 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 and totally just annihilate everybody. And then Supreme Puff GX. Take another turn after this one. Ooh, so you get another turn. Let's see. If this Pokemon ha has at least 14 extra fairy energy attached to it, in addition to the attack cost, so 16, your opponent shuffles all of their bench Pokemon and all cards that attach to them into their deck. Huh. That's a pretty interesting ability, but who's gonna ever have like 16 energy? I don't even run 16 energy in my entire deck, so uh, this card's kind of a troll, kind of a fun card. Um, I don't think you really take it seriously. 
but it is a really nice looking card and uh, maybe I'll set it in to get graded. It does look really nice. I'm trying to see if there's any imperfections on it. But um, it does look really good. Checking the centering. Maybe the centering could be a touch off. Ooh, the back centering for sure. Yeah, it's definitely off in centering, so maybe I won't send it in. Maybe we'll just kind of keep it as a cool card for the collection. Alright, we get a dangler. So here it is. Here's our little dangler. I can dangle it on something if I want. Really cute. Really nice. We also get a really cool pin. This is probably the best pin that I've ever that I've ever gotten. Look at that. This is such a really nice pin. Let's see. There we go. Super tiny. But, you know, like they say, small, but mighty. That's what this collection's all about. And then it has this really sweet pink coin, which I actually really like a lot. I probably just use this coin. Um, online, I actually have the code already. I picked up the code just separately. And I actually love using this pink coin. It's a really unique coin. All right, so let's take a look at the packs we get. I love opening packs. So we get 10. Kind of nice, like an EBT. So we have Sudden Moon, cool. Darkness Ablaze, nice. Sword and Shield, cool. Crimson Invasion, not as nice. Regular Sun and Moon, nice. Steam Siege, not very nice. <laughs> Darkness Ablaze, good. Rebel Clash, that's okay. Burning Shadows and Burning Shadows. So let's open up these guys first. Why don't we start with Crimson Invasion? I just opened up some Crimson Invasion the other day. Pretty underwhelming, sadly. But let's see what we get in this. Starting off with Execute and Jigglypuff. We got Sea of Nothingness. Wow, the sad card. And Miss Magius. Miss Magius is what we got. Alrighty. And the rest are the rest. Okay, second pack we're going to open is Steam Siege. Steam Siege is also a set that I think people aren't exactly enamored with. So let's see what we get in this. Shellos, Mankey, and Fungus. <laughs> Love the name there. Fungus is the reverse, although the reverse looks really nice. I like the way it looks. And Weevil is the rare. And we've got a Persian in there as well. Okay, so we'll do the Burning Shadows and then the straight up Sudden Moon. So Sudden Moon, Burning Shadows coming up next. These are older packs. I wish we just got all like Sword and Shield stuff. We are getting Toxicroak, and at least it's a rare reverse, which I always like rare reverses. And then we got a Zygarde. Zygarde Shiny Hollow. Which I think you can actually get in the, um, what do you call it, the um, theme deck. I think I've seen that one laying around quite often at the store. Sandy Gas and Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot is the reverse in this pack. And Heracross. Heracross is our regular rare. Got some fairy energy and that's all she wrote. Okay, Sun and Moon is coming up next. Sun and Moon. Starting out with the Firo. And our reverse is just Shelter. And Butterfree is our rare. And that's our first pack. Our second pack of Sun and Moon. So it's fun you get 10 packs, but some of these packs I think are a little bit underwhelming. Stuffle Eevee. Tora Cat. Tora Cat Uncommon. Nice looking reverse on that one. And Harry Yama. Harry Yama is the rare. We also got a rare candy in that one. Okay, I think we're done with those sort of last generation packs. We're gonna go to Rebel Clash. It's a little bit of a newer pack. Let's see if we can grab anything in Rebel Clash. Yamask. And we got coughing, and we got a Pella Pepper. 
Palapepper Reverse, and a Galarian Surfetched. Which is one of my favorites. I love Galarian Surfetched. Although, I don't, I don't know, in terms of like, is it super rare? No, not really. Sword and Shield, especially since you can grab them in the theme deck if you really want them. But I really like that card. Alright, here we go. Sword and Shield. We have the Wacky. The Wacky is our reverse. And we have, ooh, nice. Finally, we got like a V Pokemon. Regirock V. Regirock V. Okay, we got a V Pokemon. Somewhat happy with that. And we have our final two packs, which are from Darkness Ablaze. Let's see what we can get in this. Funnel B, Sinisty, Combustican, Reverse, and Arctavish is our regular rare. Nothing to write home about on that one. And here is it. Here is the final pack. What are we going to find in this? Snubble. All the way to Talonflame. Talonflame uh, rare reverse is kind of cool. And Vanillux. Vanillux is very a uh, vanilla pole. But Talonflame is nice. So out of all that, I mean, the Regirock is sort of the only, I think, card of note in terms of V Pokemon. And then we also got the really cool Tag Team card. Um, the Tag Team card is actually probably my favorite card out of this whole thing. Nothing really to write home about like I've been saying throughout this break, but it's always fun to open Pokemon cards. I'm kind of glad I saved this um, opening for now because... Right now, it's just super hard to find Pokemon cards anywhere, and so having things to open is better than not having anything to open. So thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.